Welcome back, it's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr and today we are talking about endpoint protection. Are we using signatures or are we using machine learning? Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking endpoint protection. That could be considered antivirus or like we said, endpoint protection. So what is endpoint protection? It protects you from things like malware and ransomware and also viruses. So the difference between a traditional antivirus application and endpoint protection is the way that it detects threats. Traditionally, antivirus used signature-based detection, and what that means is it had a way to match patterns in an application, the way, the way that an application looks, to a database. And based on that database, it would stop that, remove it, and do all of the antivirus components. With the addition of malware, what it uses is it introduces machine learning, some fuzzy logic, uh, it can also use the cloud to do things in real time, like it could sandbox an application if it's something that's never seen before, see what it does, monitor to see if there's any malicious activity, and then push out a defense mechanism to it. And sometimes that can happen within an hour or 30 minutes. So being able to stop uh, like worms and things like that that are traversing the internet in more real time it's leveraging like the cloud and, and pushing it down dynamically to an endpoint. So that's kind of where endpoint protection is going. So the question is, do I need both endpoint protection and antivirus? Well, you want the features of antivirus and you also want the features of endpoint protection. Now it depends on the vendor, but a lot of vendors are now combining all of those features into one. So you get antivirus, which is through signature-based detection. You get anti-malware through the machine learning and fuzzy logic, some of the AI stuff, as well as some of the offloading where they take an app that they've never seen, upload that to the cloud, they sandbox it, monitor it, and can provide real-time threat prevention uh, through the cloud. So you kind of want all those things, and that's delivered under the endpoint protection wrapper. So that's how they're, they're delivering it out to the, to the market today. All right, so really we covered a lot. We talked a little bit about antivirus versus endpoint protection and really what endpoint protection means. It's the anti-malware, the machine learning, the fuzzy fingerprinting, all of that capability, plus leveraging the cloud to push more real-time updates and monitor what applications are doing in more real time. So you get better protection of all the threats that are kind of out there in the world today. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know a little bit more, make sure you leave a comment. And if you liked it, like and subscribe so you get more of these videos and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.